Now, the local government council polls in Edo State were marred by low turnout of voters, violence, and electoral irregularities in some local government areas of the state. In some areas visited, voters say voting materials did not arrive at their voting centers until late in the day. Jonathan Awanya reports that several polling units of voting did not commence until about 1 p.m. in the afternoon, while in some others, a handful of voters were cited waiting for the election to commence. His report. The elections for chairmanship and councillorship positions in the 18 local government areas of Edo State on Saturday were marred by late arrival of materials. The story was virtually similar in other polling units visited in the Ego, Oredo, Iboba Oka, and Orenwa local government areas of the state. Accreditation of voters was yet to commence at many polling units visited by 12.30 p.m. despite the distribution of sensitive and non-sensitive materials for the elections on Friday to allow for early commencement of the process. Some voters who spoke with Trust TV decried the late arrival of materials as well as officials. This rubbish, so annoying, so infuriating, so aggravating, massive humanity to man. It is saddening, it is disheartening, disappointing, to say the least, that almost 11 o'clock, voting materials are not here for a process that SEC, a two state independent electoral commission, claimed to be exceedingly prepared for. Almost 11, the materials are not here. It is, it is, it is appalling to say the least. And uh, we are so, so dis disappointed. We are dismayed. And as you can see, the people are, the, the people are showing, or the people are showing discontentment. Disenchantment is already written in their faces. Look at the masses, they are angry. The voters, they are angry. They came here indeed to vote in their preferred candidate, all to none avail. So the government is not meeting to expectation. So we, the people of those states, we are indeed very angry. Yes. We are not happy about the situation. No, 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 no. It is uncalled for. We can't take this anymore. If they are not conducting the election, they should tell us that they are not conducting the election. And we will let it be. If they are conducting, they should give us the modalities and the election should be conducted. But on this ground, if we, are, if we wait them till 11 o'clock and there is no arrival, we will tell the old people to evacuate these premises. And the election will not be conducted in Ibobaha and it was seven. In Nguo, the local government area, Voters allege that there was no voting in most of the polling units. This is 10 42. We have not seen one material in any of the world. We have uh, 70, uh, 74 ward uh, units, um, 10, uh, 10, uh, 10 wards in Bobaha, 74 units in my ward, yes, but since it was seven. We have not been able to see one single material. So I we don't know what is happening. It's not supposed to be so. It's the election for the masses. Everybody wants to be seeing what is happening. And to me, as I speak with you now, I felt that that thing has been adjacked. And if it has been adjacked, for me, it should be a shame to the government because they told us that we should get ready for election and we are ready for election. So if we are ready for election, we are prepared. Why would they keep us in dark? It's not, it's not good for me. If you know you have followers, you have fans, come to the feed, vote and go home. If you win, we give you your winning. If you lose, we give you your losing. If we win, we take our winning. If you lose, we can lose losing. No need of you keeping us in dark and everybody is here. We are all tired. So for me, I want the government to do the needful. No accreditation, no votes. Uh, uh, unit 10, nothing was done. Even the, the, the school we are supposed to use was not cleared. No ballot box, nothing. And we just saw cameras coming in that they have done their votes. Only God knows where they did the votes. Inside one man's parlor, they brought, they just did thumb print and carried it away. This is totally unacceptable by us. We can't take it because this is what is killing this nation. If the vote here must stand, then everybody must vote in their mind. Yes. Yes. They should get us the ballot box, let us vote. Yes. We must fight for our rights, we must stand for our rights. Yes. We are not fools. Being in the village doesn't make us a fool. Yes. It doesn't make us an illiterate. Yes. We want to cast our vote yes. now. Since morning now, the community, uh, men and women, we have been in this primary school, our poly unit. No ballot paper, nothing, nothing. So we are surprised now to see uh, some press men. They told us that uh, election is so far, that we have voted. So the people, the entire community is very angry because we have the right to cast our vote. Yes. We did not see any material, we did not see anybody. So we are surprised that they are telling us that we have both yes. voted, whereby something like that did not happen. Yes. So as a, a citizen of this country, at least we have the right to vote, yes. to cast our vote yes. to any candidate of our choice. Yes. However, according to the Ed Sheik, 
schedule voting or to commence 8 a.m. and end 3 p.m. Well, staying with the Edo Council elections, a little earlier we spoke to our reporter in Edo State, Jonathan Awanyai, for the latest on the council elections. Okay, that's what I mean. Elections started at about 1.30 p.m. Uh, a lot of voters came out at 8 a.m. and we get to 1.30 to vote. In some areas, uh, not up to 2.30, uh, voting, voting did not commence. Um, areas uh, across the Pobaoka, Oredu, and Ego, they said materials did not come. And, um, it's about three o'clock. So some vote from the state I met and voting commenced. So I'm looking forward to probably the voting will end about uh, five or five thirty. That is the situation. Well, um, as at the time we monitor the election, uh, materials came late in some of the local I can't exactly give a figure of how many of how many local government elections took place, but I also do know that Voters are still patiently waiting for materials as at about 3.30, 4 p.m. There are areas where voting commenced at about 1 p.m. And, um, you know, it rained heavily, so some mm. of the voters had to go home and come back again after the rain. You know, they cited bad votes, amongst other issues. Uh, there are some of these local governments where, even though it might just take um, possibly, and it could possibly be, 30 kilometers, but they have bad network issues, so they will have to look for an alternative route to assess the community. So that is exactly the position on it. Well, as I at the time elections were held early in the year, um, I want to assume that the roads were not as bad as this because some of these roads, you know, are getting worse, occasioned by the frequent rainfall. For instance, if you have to go to the Asaba, on its axis, which will lead you to some communities. For instance, in you know, you would have to meet um, gridlock, and um, in some areas, you would have to meet uh, a bad network of road occasioned by the flood. A, a clearer picture would be the IOT axis of the of Benin. You would agree with me that most of the truck drivers, you know, because of the bad part of the road, would have to pack. On, on both sides, making it difficult for smaller vehicles to convey materials or to drive past the road. The same thing applies to Agbo on the road. There are some persons who have been on the road for a day or more. 